hearing right now is a soccer chant for LAFC, but we are LAFC supporters here at the MLS All-Star Game. So the entire MLS is here, as well as the All-Stars from Liga um, MX in Mexico. So we're in downtown Los Angeles right now, the Bank of California Stadium. Maybe you're watching the game behind me right now on Fox. It's a nationally televised game. We're here in downtown Los Angeles. Aloha to all of you who are about to come and join me right here in LA. We're just one day away from a lot of you jumping on that plane and getting right here to Los Angeles. And you're gonna be just steps away from, uh, maybe not steps, very long steps from the Rose Bowl. We're right, we're steps away from the Coliseum, but Hawaii football taking on UCLA at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena on Saturday. So we're kicking off festivities right here. Wednesday night at the MLS All-Star Game. Uh, we got the pros from Mexico's league. They're All-Stars playing the Mexi playing the MLS All-Stars. So as you can see, a pretty big stadium turnout for this game as well. And now we got some chanting. So there was no real chanting at the beginning of the game because, you know, it's not really one team. It's a whole league. So it's kind of awkward to chant for a whole league unless you're saying like SEC or something. That's about the only conference that I think cheers for itself. Uh, but here at uh, Bank of California Stadium, we got a lot of fans from Mexico. Uh, they were just chanting uh, Una Cero because they're winning 1-0 and then the MLS just tied it. So it's 1-1 right now. Um, and I myself am you know, getting in the mood for a lot of sports this week. Last night I was here at the MLS Skills Challenge and it's uh, a part of an all-star weekend, just like the NBA just like Major League Baseball, just like any of the major sports have an uh, All-Star Weekend, that's the All-Star Weekend here that we have here in, uh, at uh, the Bank of California. So it's the first time LAFC has been hosting. Obviously, LAFC, this is uh, only the you know fourth season of LAFC anyways, but to be able to host this game and, and fans from all over the league is a pretty cool thing. But the players are starting to play a little bit more aggressive, as you know, uh, you watch the NBA All-Star Game or you watch the Pro Bowl, sometimes you don't get the best of uh, the player's skills, but these players have um, actually been playing pretty well. So now you can hear the Mexico chant. So a very cool night here at the Bank of California Stadium. I'm trying to... Uh, you know, uh, get myself more into the mood of this game. It's it's a it's an exhibition game, obviously, but there's a lot of backstory between you know the leagues, between the the national teams of Mexico and the U.S. So there are some uh, a little bit of rivalry going on in the stands, but for the most part, uh, this is just a fun night. Uh, and now uh, the three two five two or members of the three two five two, which is LAFC's cheering. Uh, fan supporter group which I am a part of now you hear them getting into it so this is fun but looking forward to seeing a bunch of you tomorrow our I love LA store find I love LA tour Finally begins tomorrow. A lot of you will be flying in uh, early in morning, so you're probably getting ready to go to bed soon tonight. Get a good night's rest before you get on the plane and be right here in LA. And here from LA, what you have is uh, you know a lot of sporting events awaiting you. I'm already here at the MLS All Star Game, but we got the Dodgers game on Friday. We got Hawaii football versus UCLA on Saturday. We got a minor league game we're going to on Sunday and the Angels sweet experience against the Yankees. Shohei Otani, that's Monday. So a big week ahead. If you're here for the UH UCLA game, you're probably really excited. Uh, I hope you check out our Rainbow Wrap Up podcast if you haven't yet. It's a good way to get to know a little bit of about uh, you know me, Shane, and Sean, obviously big UH fans, but also get to hear some of our thoughts before the season starts. So this is going to be a, a huge game on Saturday for Coach Graham at UCLA. 
for UH to be able to go into the Rose Bowl, but Shane and I, maybe it's homering, maybe it's just the Kool-Aid that we drink as UH fans, but we got Hawaii upsetting UCLA, and um, I'm, I'm hopeful that that result holds up um, because UCLA is going to be a very good team, obviously, and they're a Pac-12 school. They have great talent. There's a lot of... Oh, I thought they almost had a goal. Here's a little cool, the Figueroa Club. So this is one of the, the club areas at uh, Bank of California Stadium. And like I said, this is also a great stadium for, you know, smaller facilities to imitate, like Hawaii, like T.C. Ching, just a lot of the... All right, I don't know if I got off for a little while, but now I'm back. See, the lines are kind of long here. People are grabbing their beer, their popcorn. The cool thing about this All-Star game is they also have a lot of areas that you can win a lot of cool stuff. Before the game, they had a little bit of an area, kind of like where they have a bunch of promo items that you can grab. So I got like a clear bag to come into the game with and Cheez-It was one of the sponsors. So I think I ate enough Cheez-Its and Pringles because there were also Pringles sponsors. Um, this is a cool place, Danny Trejo. A lot of you, a lot of you know Danny Trejo, a very famous actor, but these are his taco place. So he got, this is the first year that Trejo's Tacos is here at uh, the Bank of California Stadium. So I actually did have it one time. I, I, it's probably better to get it fresh because sometimes it's hard to get it fresh at a stadium, but you do get to have a lot of things that I don't normally eat outside of the stadium. I do eat here, so it's definitely a good place for that. Uh, I'm just making my walk. It's second half here at the MLS All-Star Game. There's a really cool booth over here, um, Adidas, where you put in your email and you can get a free gift. So actually, I might try it. It's one of the many cool little things you can do here as a fan. Adidas Creators Club. So he got something out. He doesn't know what it is yet. So I'm going to go and get take my, my chances here too at the uh, Creators Club. Uh, but if you're out there, please join us at hisportsfans.com. You know, football season is upon us. We got a big year for the Rams. I've already been to two games at SoFi Stadium. It's an amazing facility. Um, just the the energy of the place is incredible just because it's, it's it's huge and it's so worldwide and famous that people have been talking about it for years because you know you can you fly over it when you're when you're flying into LAX. It's one of those things that uh, those stadiums those, those uh, projects that uh, people have been waiting for for a long time. So um, every, all of that is here in Los Angeles. I hope you'll be here soon. We're going to see Hawaii versus the Bruins. Um, leave us your final score prediction. Leave us your record prediction as well because I'm going to post tomorrow what our record predictions were at the Rainbow Warrior uh, wrap-up podcast. And uh, we'll have a new episode up soon too. So already three episodes in the book. Go find it wherever you listen to your podcast, Hawaii Sports Fans Channel or um, Google, Audible, iHeart, Apple, Spotify. But a lot going on here, so I'm going to go be a fan and get back to the All-Star game. But take care, guys, and we'll see you hopefully at UCLA on Saturday. Aloha.